metal clavicate. In the time of Adam Plague, when all men died, there was a boy who lived in the Grey Waste. His name was Aram. He lived on a farm in the Grey Waste with his mother and two younger sisters. His father succumbed to the plague. Hard times had fallen. The family cow had to be sold. Aram went to town at his mother's behest. Gaspard approached Aram. He was his best friend. He too had lost his father. However, he was not the eldest of this house. He told Aram that the traveling wizard Haskell was in town, and he had already traded his father's wedding band for glowing rings. Aram decides to sell the cow to the wizard for magical items. He's offered many things in exchange, but Haskell told him the best bargain was an acorn. She said, It will make you a greater man. To the dismay of Gaspard, the acorn was Aram's purchase. The boy was instructed to plant the seed and return to the wizard when it grew. Overnight under the blue moon, the tree stretched for the stars growing, ever so slowly, but surely. Gaspard went to Aram's farm, curious to see the results of the acorn. In the shade of the great tree, the roots had torn asunder the earth to reveal a large cavern. Gaspard, excited by this, claimed that he'd heard tales of magical caverns. They're simply brimming with treasures untold. Aram reminded Gaspard that these tales also have dragons to guard the treasures within. The cautious farm boy wrote a note to his family, warning them to not touch the tree. He then told Gaspard to guard the tree. He went to find a wixer. In town, the wixer was found. She foretold, The cave is adventure itself calling out to you. Do you answer? Aram, of course, said yes. Haskell told the boy she could only guide him to the gateway, and that he'd be alone from that point onward. And so they made their way to the tree. When Aram and Haskell arrived at the gateway under the tree, Gaspard was nowhere to be seen. Haskell searched by means of a crystal ball and said that fool had gone in. Aram was warned he could only enter the cave once, and so he packed a few provisions, and he bid the wizard farewell. And so, the descent into the dungeon deep began. The cave was indeed filled with wonders. Sparkles filled his eyes, as if the sights itself were overwhelming. When the boy finally caught up to Gaspard, he found himself in the company of goblin freebooters. They had a cart loaded with treasure, and they had a blade to Gaspard. Aaron tried to reason with the fiends, but they said that fool had stolen from them, and he had to pay him blood. And then out of smoke and ash rose a genie man. It quickly slew the goblins, blood drenching the area. In the chaos, Gaspard secured a piece of treasure from the goblins. The genie introduced itself as Druge, the illustrious king of this underground realm. It claimed the stolen treasure as its own, but the goblins had taken these things from it in the night. Aram and Gaspard were invited to a feast in their honor at the castle of Druge. Dull servants of Druge appeared and took back the cart of stolen treasure. On the way back to his home, Druge said that it was once a gambler. It was tricked by a cruel mage to become a dark servant. It escaped, but it could never become human again. Furthermore, it told the boys that its wife was also missing, and if they would accept, it would be honored if they did in her rescue on the morrow. At the keep, the heroes were entertained and fed. They were invited to stay the night, and so they decided to stay the night and help the genie when asked. In the night, Aram saw a light. It came from a jewel Gaspard was holding. He woke Gaspard and asked him why had he stolen from the genie, but his friend said that he found it during a fight with goblins. The stolen jewel began to grow brilliantly and project the image of a girl, a princess. She pleaded to be free, but the only way to free her was to defeat Druge. It imprisoned her and forced her into marriage and made everyone in the underground kingdom into immortal slaves. One of the servants overheard this and called the master. The genie burst into the room. The princess told the boys to challenge Druge to a game of wicked coins. She said that it was cursed to play that game as well. As soon as she said that, she was seized. Not wasting a moment, Gaspard vowing to free the princess challenged Druge to play the game. Druge laughed. It hated the game, but it had to accept. The rules were as follow. There can only be two players. There are 11 coins on a table. Each player must pick up between 1 and 5 coins. The person picking up the last coin loses. The genie told Gaspard that he could keep each coin he took, Additionally, he could go first. With 11 coins on the table, Gaspard grabs 5. Druge picks up 5 as well. Gaspard picks up the last coin and loses. Aram's best friend was imprisoned in the cage. Aram challenges the evil genie man. Druge accepts with malice and glee. There are 11 coins. Aram picks up 4. Druge picks up 4. Aram picks up 2. Druge picks up the last coin and loses. Screaming his defeat, Druge burned away into nothingness. His smoldering body disintegrating to ash, scattering everywhere. All the slaves collapsed, dead, free from the material presence at last. The castle began to fall apart, no longer enchanted to stand. 
the walls begin rumbling faster and faster as debris starts falling everywhere. Aram took the jewel of the princess and ran out Gaspard to the exit. On the surface, the jewel shatters in a glistening wonder. The princess is free, but with no kingdom or family to return home to, she begins to feel the crushing force of depression. Aram and Gaspard pledge their hearts and souls to the princess. For even without her vast treasures, she still is a fair maiden. At the end of the story, the princess marries Aram, and they had one child named Ronan. The end.